Howdy, it's a rainy day here in lovely Mount Bridges, Ontario, and I'm at the Brickyard Antique Mall. Taking a look at another one of these cool little Southern Ontario antique malls. Let's see what we can find inside. And Eric is back with us from the Isle of Man. How you doing? Hello. Hey, how you doing? Excellent. Thank you for joining me for this quaint Thank little you. antique mall walkthrough. A couple of things similar to the uh, gigantic Woodstock, one of a kind. Some of those uh, ancient pieces of tech. Batman cookie jar. Nice. Is it a cookie jar? Or just nice. a statue? Looks like it. Oh, man thing. Classic comics. I don't like what I'm seeing already. More classic. Azrael. A couple of 90s, some 80s. Man, it makes you wonder if there's like a Spider-Man number one in there somewhere. Yeah. Or a it's, first uh, appearance Batman. You think nowadays that people would, you know, have the uh, the smarts to know that they might potentially have something, but uh, you never know. You could get lucky. That's the real exciting part, and it looks like I'm going the wrong way here. There's some arrows on the ground, and I, uh, I it's not an issue here because there there wasn't anyone else in the store at this time, so it's not like I was walking into anybody. But uh, that's that's the real fun thing about antique malls is sometimes you do find a great little treasure. Um, and it's like, what, what's that doing there for that price? You better believe I grabbed this. Oh, wow. the Jedi storybook nice. in beautiful condition. Should have grabbed yeah. that Elvis novel. I missed it. Darren. I think I might've even had that one. Whoa. That it's is a, it's uh, like a Jesus. E. Looking... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I saw like some of the wax pack sports cards and stuff like that. That was great. That's, that's back when I actually collected sports cards. Mm -hmm. Tops baseball cards and stuff like that when they still had the gum. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's unfortunate that um, those packs that didn't get opened and then they have like the, the calcified, yeah. <laughs> petrified gum in them now. Yeah. It's all like sandy. <laughs> oh, the best oh. of Burton Cummings. No sugar tonight in my coffee. Oh. <laughs> Actually, his solo stuff is fantastic. Oh, uh, wow. Star Wars. There you go. London Philharmonic. You never know what's in there. Yeah, I love The Workaday by Burton Cummings, lead singer of the Guess Who, for yeah. people who don't know who Burton Cummings is. Canadian treasure oh, Boston. Boston. There you go. It's been such a long time. Where, where are they from again? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Milwaukee? <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't have had the same ring to it if they were called Milwaukee. Yeah. <laughs> There's a uh, mystery yeah. machine, Scooby Doo lunchbox. Lunch oh, that's yeah. Cool. Yeah, my wife actually has one of those from years ago. That's why I didn't spend more time on it. I was like, oh, the same old Scooby-Doo lunchbox. Well, this has that kind of fun collection that's like semi-sorted, but there's some care going on that, that makes it kind of easier to look around in. I like this. It's it's very nicely organized, and it just feels like, you know, grandma's house. They tolfs. Well, there were some, and I'll, you know, I've got some stuff to show you, but sometimes in some of these, they, they're almost overwhelming. You know, and, and, and I, I like the what I've seen of this place so far. It's like there's a little bit of rhyme and reason. I spend so much time when I go into these things. Um, the video length doesn't always reflect how long I'm in there, but the mm -hmm. one of a kind, I I was in there forever because it's mm -hmm. uh, three flights. And, and this is really sprawled out, too. It's, there's a big layout, two sections to it. Is that a Donnie Marie? Donnie and Marie. We seem wow. to see them every antique mall we go to. Donnie That's and Marie in some incarnation. That had to have been the kind of thing in the 70s where people bought a ton of them thinking they were going to be all collectible, you know? Yeah. I'm surprised we didn't see a Donnie and Marie, Luke and Leia <laughs> set. Different assortment of uh, there's artwork. Oh, this stuff is beautiful. Oh, that's cool. Beautiful First Nations. Huh? Artwork. Totems and I kind of like that oh, cow skull on the wall. You'll, you'll like these the boats. Oh, nice. Oh, that looks really cool. Oh, that glass one's really interesting. It almost looks like Art Nouveau or something. Mm hmm. A gun. Oh, and hmm. that With real feather eyebrows. It's got to be one of those, like, that's a non firing. Yeah. Ho hook em horns. Hmm. Huh. Beautiful. Wow. Anchor. 
prices are great yeah. here too. Those horns, and, and I know, uh, and this is a little bit anecdotal, but uh, my grandpa was a big hunter, and um, when we had his estate sale, he had a whole bunch of antlers and stuff like that that that, that you know of, of his of his hunts, and those went like almost immediately. It's like really? people picked those up, and I don't know if it's just the kind of thing where it's like ivory, where it's like you, you can't really own it legitimately anymore or what but um they sure got picked up quick i mean it was like literally the second or third person through really? those. yeah well they just they look cool yeah maybe that's it i don't know hopefully the animal was used for meat and uh yeah you know well i can tell clothing. you for i can tell you for certain in my grandpa's case it, uh, they they became stew if you cool. if you want to walk on the grass <laughs> wow that's pretty interesting. I like Welcome the grass everywhere. That's Mr. Bean, that thing is, I like that. That's cool. And I'm not necessarily into the vases and the cutlery and and cups and stuff, but it it's it it's cool. You mm. know, it it adds to the uh, atmosphere, the class. Nice. It's plates, signs, very immaculate keep this place very uh, clean yeah. well that's really the difference too is because you know you i you know i'm sure you've been in some of them i've been in some of them before where it just looked like a bomb had gone off and it was like <laughs> really it's it's quite literally a treasure hunt you know when you go in there yeah. and this one uh, it looks uh it looks like there's been some care in the arrangement of the stuff especially oh, that's especially nice because there is a restaurant in this place so mm -hmm. You know, if there's going to be a restaurant, you want it to be clean and yeah. just kind of not that the store part has to be clean, but it it's kind of nice uh, seeing the store so clean. And then when you see the restaurant, you think, oh, OK, oh, there we go. I'm kiss. It's like yeah. a Beautiful. Wow, that's what late 90s, early 2000s. I think so. Happy days, lunchbox. Ammo, ammo, car, uh, ammo yeah. cases. Those are great. Yeah. <clears throat> like ammo. Well, they're handy. I used to always keep my markers and stuff in those. Mm. There is a pretty cool toy section in here coming up. I know last time I kicked it off. Oh, big bird cake pan. It's just a lot of very interesting stuff in there. The uh, the, oh, the mind trap game. We had that. That was a great game. Oh, the oh, pachinko machine. I would love one of those. <laughs> I might have considered buying that. That'd be so cool to have on the wall. I want to give a big thanks to everyone who's checked out our previous uh, antique mall walkthroughs. Those have gotten uh, a view or two, so I appreciate yeah. the folks taking in there, taking a minute to watch those. Oh, some oh, vintage glasses. I love those. Muppets. Oh, the, the Muppets. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah I just real. I noticed them out of the corner of my eye. Oh, Eric would like these Disney glasses. Oh yeah, I would have gone home with those. <laughs> <laughs> Great Muppet Caper. Beer A. Hmm. Stella glasses. I do like their beer here in Canada. I just can't seem to get the arrows right this day. <laughs> I think I get it right later on when I go in the second section. I'm I don't so know. I'm a big Zeppelin fan. I like going in through the outdoor. Trying to find a figure out a quick stairway to heaven joke, but just wasn't coming. To <laughs> <laughs> well, if there's a bustle in your hedgerow, you're gonna be on. <laughs> it's just uh, Bullwinkle. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> whenever, okay. whenever I see Bullwinkle, I always think in the movie Vacation. Now, sorry, folks, <laughs> right. park's closed. Moose out, moose out front. Should have told you. <laughs> Don Candy, National Treasure. Yeah, oh, there's some cool. toys. Like a '90s Spidey. Oh, and turtle. Wow, that's a weird one. I don't think I ever. Is that original one? Yeah. One oh. The, here's the restaurant section. Nice cool. '50s diner vibe to it. The checker cool. floor and the poutine smelled so good. <laughs> and second okay. section, which has a lot more collectible stuff to it. Also very nicely organized. I like the pegboard too. Some really old toys. That's before 
Hasbro before Mattel, probably. Oh my god, those are those really old. Some of those might even be Matchbox. I like how sometimes when you see those old dinky cars and then there's like a box of old shotgun shells beside it. <laughs> like, these things don't go together. <laughs> Beamer. Oh, there's a Dodge Viper. I, I love die-cast cars and, you know, in all, in all scales, really. I think they're fun. I don't really collect a whole lot of them, but uh, mm -hmm. I will say that I don't think there's a shortage anywhere in the world of die-cast cars. <laughs> no, no, no. My stow was running over time back in the day. Yeah. That's what I really loved about the G1 Transformer Autobots, the die-cast parts to them. They felt like actual die-cast model cars that could transform. What are these cups? Walmart 30th anniversary. Oh. Who's, who's bringing that home? Someone who's oh, really fun. proud of Walmart. Oh, the Ghostbusters cap. I like that. That's cool. Oh, part two. Oh, Ghostbusters two. <laughs> Even better? <laughs> All right, because he was driving the cab in the second one. Uh, Tim Hortons. Oh, Tim Hortons. That would have been fun. He's a grimace. Oh, the A&W bear. Run him, run him. Boom, 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 boom. And a float kit. Float kit, ah, that's interesting. Oh, I didn't know you needed. I didn't know oh, you needed a Star kit. <laughs> Vintage McDonald's cups. Yeah, that's cool. They don't do those anymore. No, it's really too bad. I always thought I always thought a set of those are fun. Mm. I used to have a bunch of those the Coke bottle ones that you just uh, went by though, and they all got broken. <laughs> mm. Oh, that that uh, that Inspector Gadget is the one that you that you get pieces of in the Happy Meal toys. Hmm. It came in like parts. I think it was like a. I, it might have even technically been the first Build a Figure. Oh, nice card. Oh, oh, Alf cards. These are hilarious. I actually picked these up, and nice. I got to do maybe a live stream someday of just going through them. And they have the most. Oh, stay puffed. <laughs> what did you do, Eric? What did you do? <laughs> it can't be. Uh, the owl facts are amazing. Like, um, did you know on Melmac, complimenting someone's knees is the highest compliment you can <laughs> give? Like, it's crazy yeah, stuff. Oh, Waterworld. Yeah. Gossner. Talk about obscure. Biggest bomb of all time, but uh, actually, it might not be anymore. You know, I, I, I tell you, and it's it was one of those popular ones to thrash, you know, back then, but I always thought it was a decent movie i mean it's not wonderful it's not lawrence it's of arabia but it's a fun movie it's mad max on water you can't go yeah. wrong yeah mad max on a in a tundra you can't go wrong i mean it, yeah. it's kind of like when all those die hard on a plane train came out they weren't horrible they just weren't the original yeah Is that a puzzle six million dollar man puzzle huh. in a tin no less i guess <laughs> i'd be framed i'd be playing oh there we go vintage yeah. revolvers Batman, oh, wow. trace in color. I am the knight. Huh. And there's that. Adam West. Fun. Man, there's nothing like Adam West. Look at these astronauts. Oh, that's cool. They were rock stars. Fawns. Oh, and that's this. red helmet's cool. Yeah. Life size from the uh, 2012 movie. That movie was so good. Such a good movie. Loved it. Loved it. Any Robocop fan needs to check that movie out. Mama is not the law. <laughs> I am the law. He's more terrifying than the villain of the movie. Yeah. That's a like a knockoff, not an official Joe Tank. It's one of those like true heroes or something like that. There were a couple ones when I was in a toy store in uh, in um, over in London um, before we went on our holiday. We spent a night there, and it was one of those like. Uh, jack stores kind of place they had a whole bunch of those they had some really cool ones mm -hmm. there's i think for customizers those things are just gold and they're they got electronics in them too which is so cool a lot of joe toys never even had electronics but these things yeah. move on their own and they light up and they have sounds and they're cheap oh, yeah they really loved alf here for some reason i saw a lot yeah. more alf here than i've seen anywhere some astronaut stuff outer space Lone Ranger puzzle. Yeah. That'd be a cool way to hang out. You know, just sit down with a bud and, and do a puzzle. Yeah. 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 Just a fun way to spend a couple hours. Ronnie McDonnie. <laughs> <laughs> I think I remember when they always used to sell those. 
a do back. Is that the, uh, I couldn't tell. It looks like an original one, a vintage one. 12 inch uh, Star Thanks, Wars. Steve. Man, that Vader was huge. Yeah. I didn't realize it was that much bigger than Luke. It's like a 13 or 14 inch figure. And I grabbed that too. Empire oh, Strikes yeah. Back storybook. Nice. I believe. Yeah, that's a vintage. That's totally a vintage do back. Yeah. What is that? The green woman? Is that a is that a Tauntaun? I'm not something? sure. Looked a little like a Frontiers. <laughs> what, what, what else could it be? I mean, yeah. it's kind of like oh. it, if it's not Tauntaun. Ah, the chipmunks. chipmunks. That's a great. I'm not sure what they were from. I don't remember seeing much chipmunks merchandise in stores, unless it was maybe like a Happy Meal. They had these uh, Chipmunks figurines I wanted really bad when I was a kid. Cause I, I loved the Chipmunks. I thought they were great. But I never never got them. They were like uh, single carded or three packs? Yeah, they were like on cards. Yeah, you can get uh, get the three of them and Dave and I think even the Chip oh. Bats. I'll, I'll have to look up and see. I, in the I, 80s, right? Yeah, it was in the 80s. Wow. Yeah. It's probably My guess would be Coleco because Coleco seems to be the company that did all of these. Like they did the ALF figures that I didn't even know existed. Yeah, something like that, yeah. And more stuff. M and M's. M and M's have had a lot of merchandise, those uh Yeah. Oh Pez. Pez seems to be going away. I don't see as much Pez as I used to. Delbert. Well, I think the, the fact that they're still they're basically straight sugar. Yeah, that's, that's oh, that's a nice Batmobile. Is that's, that one of the, uh, that's a Keaton one. That's but, a Keaton, yeah. But is it from the first movie? Was that uh, one uh, of the? Movies? I think it was like a smaller, oh, I don't know, like smaller that's thing. Cool. There's been so many different versions. I think we're coming up on the on the really good toy section here on the left. Possibly. Oh wow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! This is this is where you want to go if you're a vintage toy collector. If you go to the Brickyard. There's some really nice. Uh, oh, there's a blue, blue oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> But there's a whole wall of uh, carded, mint on card vintage toys. Cups again, bobbleheads, die cast. You seem to be right. There is no shortage of die cast cards. Mm -hmm. Oh, I saw the beast. Oh, nice. Spawns. Those Toy Biz 90, the X-Men figures have really aged well. Yeah, they're getting popular again, too. I think it's because the whole, uh, you know, the X-Men 99 or whatever it is, is coming out on Disney+. Plus. The Revival the, series, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the uh, Skate, Cheapskate from <laughs> Turtles. Yeah, those Toy Biz um, X-Men toys, feel, they, they're kind of like the first unfinished business toys. Oh, there's April. Mm -hmm. Um you know, the, even though they came out in the 90s, they feel like they came out 10 years before. Uh -huh. And Gordon Shumway, oh. the old huh. Alfer. Oh, wow. I had to grab that. I'm like, this exists? Oh, this yeah, is a thing, cool. a carded Gordon Shumway figure? <laughs> <laughs> so that, that hangs on my men on card wall because I love oh. the old Alfer. And uh, I've got, uh, I've got uh, a loose beast. So I didn't really need a carded one. And Canyon, a great innovator in wrestling. Booker T. Yeah, why don't you buy me? <laughs> oh my God. It's a great deal. <laughs> One of the three movies I ever walked out of. It's really. <laughs> I walked out of yeah, Batman and Robin. That was that was one of the, one of the three I walked out of. It was really hard to not walk out with that ABBA album, but uh, uh, yeah. I remember having something like that when I was a kid. Just a big old motorcycle with a cop on it mm. remote control or or like a corded type of thing that rolled yeah. around classic wrestling cups <laughs> oh cool. yeah you'd oh, think i would have grabbed that one but i, I didn't oh, i was just asking i did not uh -uh. of course now i have super trooper running through my head right now oh no <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, that's cool. The um, what are those? Uh... The big guard, I think, huh. is from one of the new Star Wars movies, Last Jedi, maybe. Yeah. And, and, kind of a neat looking one. And there was Kylo Ren. I just, 
I, I sensed sequel trilogy and I kind of moved on. <laughs> Just general aversion. <laughs> I can it's understand. Force repellent or something. Oh, wow. Lots of Ghostbusters. Yeah. It's like it's they funny. have the... Uh... And, and it's like the Paul Feige Ghostbusters oh. for some reason. They oh, got wow. A, Big Paul Feige Ghostbusters section. Somebody Only... just brought in their whole collection. I said, I'm done. Here yeah. it is. Take it. I, I took a shot. I gambled. And uh, oh, well. Oh, that Mega style Spider-Man is, is pretty cool. That's a neat one. Swappable hand. Yeah. yeah, these look cool. Yeah, those are neat. Oh, that Daredevil was cool, too. Look at that. Oh, yeah, that was a man. Oh, I've never seen that. That's cool. I think that thing costs a ton I, wow. I can't remember if I got a shot of the uh, the price tag, but it was like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, you don't see too much Ultraman. And anytime I see it, I'm like, Ultraman! <laughs> it's special. It's nice that he's not oversaturated. Yeah. Horrible. I like that Silver Surfer figure back there. I like him when they do him in actual chrome. Yeah. Uh, that's so rare. Really yeah. It's I've like got it. Yeah, I've got an older one that was on a card, but the card was really damaged. I just took it off. But it's a, it's like that. It's a chrome silver surfer. Looks really cool. It's a, you know, like from the early '90s or something like that. Mm -hmm. Nice little mini oh. Joe figure collection. Did they make those little Joe? Uh, well, obviously they did. Were they part of that same sort of like what do they call them? Um, they did a Star Wars series, a uh, like micro heroes or something like that. That line oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. I don't remember what it's called. I didn't know they ever did any of those. Here's a blast from the past. Um, this is it's cool that it's not just retro stuff. It's a retro experience. There's a couch yeah. you can sit on and watch an old VHS tape of an old show with like old commercials. That's they actually cool. they they recorded this in the 80s and it just sits in there and plays authentic with the there you go. There's a coach commercial playing on, on this nice. old tape. So you can actually just sit there and kind of be transported back. That's cool. There's always a Giger alien yeah. <laughs> with all this stuff. <laughs> He's probably spinning in his grave. What is my creation doing with McDonald's yeah. Simpsons? It's not the kid's toy. There's <laughs> Jeffrey from Toys R Us, or one of Jeffrey's kids, maybe. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> That was a trend for a while. There were a bunch <laughs> of people on Instagram that were taking those old paintings and like painting something into them, you know? Yeah. <laughs> there, there was a, it was that that was God, that was a couple of years ago that was going like crazy for a while. That's funny. I like that new meme where they're taking photos and it's some kind of a plug in or filter or something mm -hmm. that um makes them look like Jesus or some kind of like <laughs> biblical. I sent you one of Boddicker and until I realized oh, yeah. that, after that, I realized, oh, that's that's an actual meme. Like they're taking everyone, <laughs> Alf, and making him look like that. But uh, that's it. We've uh, moved back that's to the awesome. start here, and that's the uh, Mount Bridges Antique Mall, the Brickyard Antique Mall in Mount Bridges, Ontario. Quaint little mall, and it's just off the highway. Just a couple minutes straight shot from the highway. Definitely want to dip in there if you're passing through that area. Awesome. All right. Well, Eric, thanks again. These are always so much fun to go through with you. Yeah. Thank minutes. you again. Yeah. It's just fun. Even just, uh, you know, spitballing stories and anecdotal stuff and everything. It just, there's so much that triggers memories and it's a lot of fun seeing the stuff. And I'm looking forward to the next one because we're going to flip the script and we're going to yeah. go through one of your old haunts, one of your old stomping grounds. So very excited. Yeah. To check it ready. Awesome. awesome. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and nerd mistake. Nerd mistake. All done shopping at the Brickyard Antique, and I really like this place. It's very quaint, very cozy. Love the idea of having uh, an old 50s-style diner in there. The uh, poutine was making my stomach rumble the whole time I was in there. And uh, wonderful staff in there as well. Picked up a couple of things, a couple of ALF items, grab the stack of ALF cards. Uh, there's ALF facts on the back. Did you know that on Melmax, spreading grease on someone's knees is the highest form of compliment? I didn't know that. I'm looking forward to going through this gigantic stack of ALF cards and finding out more of these ALF facts. I also grabbed this. It's a Coleco 
vintage ALF figure from the ALF animated series. One of my favorite cartoon intro theme songs. Uh, the cartoon itself, can't really get through an episode anymore, but I love that theme song and I wanted to have a little piece of that uh, cartoon as well as ALF hanging on the wall. I do have the big talking ALF, but he's a little too big to hang on a pegboard. So I thought this would be just perfect. Love the picture on the back of all the other ALF figures that were available. And that is by Coleco, one of my favorite 80s companies, which has kind of been forgotten, but uh, they were right up there with Kenner, Mattel, and Hasbro. And a couple of Star Wars storybooks, Empire Strikes Back storybook. So I'm kicking it old school print with pictures from The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi with Luke Skywalker on the cover and tons of pictures from Return of the Jedi. This one is in amazing condition. It still has that new book smell. Absolutely beautiful. So thanks for joining me. If you are in the Southern Ontario area, I highly recommend making the trip out to the Brickyard Antique Store in Mount Bridges. Much like Frailton, I had never heard of Mount Bridges, but it's another nice quiet little town just uh, off the 401 highway. So drop by if you're ever in the area, have some poutine, sit down on the chair and watch some classic TV on an old style television set. Hope you enjoyed this virtual tour. Thanks for watching. Nerd Miss Day.